The SmartDop 30EX is the most advanced model offered by the Japanese Doppler manufacturer Hideko. This demonstration will illustrate how the automatic cuff inflator deflator within the SmartDop 30EX can aid the practitioner in obtaining the following. Brachial and ankle pressures using the 8 MHz probe and standard cuff, toe pressures using a PPG probe and digital cuff, and show us how this Doppler interacts with the Hideko SmartLink software to present and obtain both ankle brachial indexes and toe brachial indexes. For the purposes of this demonstration, we shall start by obtaining a brachial pressure. This does not have to be the first pressure point taken. You may decide to start with the toe pressure and then move to arm or brachial positions, followed by the ankle position. For brachial and ankle pressures, we must ensure that the Doppler is on arm leg mode and is reading from the probe position number one where the 8 MHz probe is attached. The standard cuff then needs to be comfortably wrapped around the upper arm. Not too tight, but not too loose either, as demonstrated. Couple up the air tube and locate a pulse at either the brachial artery or the radial artery. Using the 8 MHz probe, locate a nice, clear and crisp blood flow. SmartDop30 will acknowledge the clarity of this reading by flashing the inflate button on the face of the Doppler and the inflate icon on your computer screen. Once comfortably in position, you can either press the probe button, the inflate button on the Doppler, or click on the inflate icon on the screen to commence the inflation of the cuff. It is now important not to move the probe until the entire process is complete and a systolic pressure obtained. Once the systolic pressure is determined, the probe can be removed and the arm brachial pressure stored by pressing the arm leg button on the Doppler or clicking the decision icon on the screen of your computer. We can then repeat this procedure at the ankle site from either the posterior tibial or the posalis pedis arterial sites. Ensure that the weight of the patient's leg is not on the cuff. Once an ankle pressure is obtained and stored, an ABI figure is automatically calculated and presented to us as shown. Moving further down to the hallux or great toe, we need to change the Doppler to toe mode and ensure that it's reading from pro position number two. This will be confirmed by the audible sound that you're hearing. The first tip here is to secure or seal the PPG probe onto the fleshy pad of the toe, with the wire coming straight out of the distal end of the toe, ensuring that the complete screen of the probe is in contact with the skin. 2.5 cm micropore seems to be the best for this job. We then suggest to create some slack in the wire and tape it off to the dorsal aspect of the foot as shown. This ensures no pull on the probe. Then run the wire up the leg of the patient. Once this is done, then loosely wrap the digital cuff around the toe. It is important not to wrap this too tight. Couple the air tube to the digital cuff and ensure that the airline does not run near the PPG probe wire. Interference can distort the PPG probe. The machine is now ready to automatically obtain a toe pressure. Due to the sensitivity of the PPG probe, we suggest that you observe the patient closely and make sure that they remain calm during this brief period. Any movement of the foot can affect the pressure reading. Because this is now an automatic process controlled by the machine, we suggest you turn the sound volume off so that the patient is not aware of their pulse rate, especially as it shall disappear during cuff inflation and this may cause patient anxiety. Thus, once the machine is happy with the strength of the pickup and the patient is calm, simply start the inflation by pressing either the probe button, the inflate button on the Doppler, or the screen icon, and continue to observe the patient throughout the process. Once the pressure is gathered and stored, a TBI figure will be calculated and presented. For more information on this product or any of your other podiatry needs, feel free to contact Brigitte Medical Company.